Hi, it's John. It's the 6th of July and uh, it's the day of the auction. I remember last uh, auction day, June, um, I was picking up some hay from the allotment. Anyway, this, this time I've, I'm not staying down the auction. I've just taken a lot of birds down there, but I'm not staying. And I thought I'd come down and do a bit on the allotment, tidy up the tomatoes. Um, there are showers around, um, it's forecast, I mean that cloud looks like showers. Well there's the greenhouse, um, be alright for a before and after video wouldn't it? Although I'm not thinking of doing an awful lot of tidying up. Um, I couldn't even see where the greenhouse was from up the top. Uh, but the tomatoes are actually doing quite well in here. They're planted straight in the ground. Um, they've got tomatoes on. Oh, some are just going beginning to go red. Um, let's see how I get on anyway. I've got uh, some sticks there for making a frame for the tomatoes, a uh, tripod in case I do a video of myself doing something, <laughs> um, gloves because there's a lot of stinging nettles and thistles and horrible things, brambles, um, a little prong thing, that's a useful thing, that little prong for um, weeding, a knife to cut the string, right, string to tie the sticks up together and a little board a fork just to shake it round, shake the soil up a bit. Well that's got the brambles and thistles away from the entrance. I haven't got one of those time-lapse facilities where you can speed it all up. But now I think I'll uh, pull some of the grass up with me gloves. Well, I'm getting on, um, got some weeds cleared, the next thing I'm going to do is put the, the sticks up to support the tomatoes, so then I can get to the ground and tidy up the ground, clean the weeds out, and also loosen up the soil, and I think I'm going to mulch it all up with rabbit manure. But uh, I've had to get some water in these watering cans, because their ground is so hard and I can't get the sticks in the ground. Now, the ground, there is water in this ground. It is quite low and we're not too far off the stream and there is also water coming out the hills. So um, there's water down there. So um, I haven't had to really water these very often, these tomato plants. And people underestimate the depth of the roots that plants have. Um, if you've heard of the expression grass roots level, I have heard that grass roots actually go down about six feet in the ground. Um, you know, you think of turf and it, the roots are about an inch long, but um, actually if, if grass is left it will go down about six feet. And even in, in the driest summer, grass will normally regenerate itself without re-sowing. Anyway, um, of these tomatoes, they're planted straight in the soil so they can, the roots can go right down. Well, I've done as much as I feel I want to. A uh, slightly longer process than anticipated, but I feel I've done well. Um, I've got a bit more to do. 
I was going to put some rabbit manure in the bottom of some mulch. I've got a few more docks to um, dig out down there. But um, I'm pleased. Uh, I've got all the the uh, side shoots off and tied them up. So uh, I'm pretty pleased.